True Night Watchman experience, I will admit first off that I have heard a lot of these deep web, dark web stories, and have always called bullshit, however, a close friend of mine swore that she had been to this place, and that she had seen some really messed up things, some she would talk about. Others she refused, she said some of the things she had seen would haunt her for the rest of her life. I should have just let it go at that, but I wanted to believe that she was making it all up, and that there was no such place, but I was the one that was wrong. You know the drill by now, I downloaded Tor, Onion, and found the hidden wiki, I had been warned about some of the links, and how they can trick you into some really crazy and horrible things, I clicked a few, they were mostly sex meetups, escort requests, drug deals, needless to say. I was really starting to think I was right, and that the deep web was just an easy way to make shady deals that couldn't be traced, it was lame, tame and a little bit boring. I looked around for something remotely interesting until I found the link, the night watchman, okay, this could be interesting, I was thinking it might be some guy telling creepy stories or walking around a sleepy town at night or something. What greeted me was a flat black page with three videos blown up to cover the space, sitting side by side in a line, they were paused, and on each of them was a picture of different people, the first one had a family of four, mom, dad, and two little girls. The second was a couple with the female being very obviously pregnant, the third was just one woman and her dog, a cute black lab with a white streak over his left eye. Before I could study them for too long, a voice came through, it was male, but slightly distorted, so I couldn't really hear what he actually sounded like, here is what he said. Good evening, tonight the night watchmen have brought you three unique households, each of them lives different lives, believe different things, have different future plans, he stopped here and cleared his throat, for this next part, it sounded like he was smiling. Watch each video and then choose one. I really didn't understand the point of this task, but, honestly, my interest was piqued, I was curious about where this was going. I clicked the first video, there wasn't much to it, it showed the family in their home, skipping through moments of them watching TV, playing in the backyard, having supper, the parents putting the kids to bed, starting to make love, it cut off there, thank god. I was starting to feel like a weird creep. I was seeing a part of people's lives that were meant for only them. I reluctantly clicked the next video, I was transported into the home of a young couple getting ready to start a family, it skipped through to them in the baby's room hugging and generally looking excited, they ate salads at the kitchen table, went through mail, looked through baby books and magazines, watched a show on TV, and then went to bed, snuggling up together. This one was so sweet I couldn't help but smile at what I had seen, however, I was still a boyer in their personal moments. I had gone through the others, I figured it was only right to watch the last one. This one was of a single woman living with just her dog, she was a bit of a slob, she had dishes piled up, laundry on the levesiate in the living room, and trash that was overflowing, the other two had been pretty tidy, the family having some toys and laundry lying around. The couple with a very clean house, I wondered if there was a point to that, since it did show these aspects in the videos. Anyway, the woman seemed lonely, she watched a lot of tea, the, ate a half gallon of ice cream, checked her cell phone every few moments, obviously hoping for a call or text, played fetch with her dog, fed him and then went to bed, taking her phone with her. She began to masturbate, and I began to feel incredibly awkward, thankfully, this one ended there as well. I waited to see what was next, the videos reset and went back to the stills of each one again, the voice came back over and said. Now that you have seen, which will you choose? I sat there and watched, praying that someone else was here watching this too and would choose, but nothing happened for a few minutes, the videos disappeared, and another three videos began playing simultaneously, these turned my stomach. There were three tall men, I assume they were men by what character I could catch, they each wore the same clothing. Black shirt, pants, boots, and a long black trench coat that dangled around their ankles, to top it all, they each wore a large wide-brimmed black hat. Have you decided? Which one will you choose? The voice chimed in over the obviously live feed, death comes on swift wings for our ill-fated friends, you must choose one, that is how the game goes, he thought this was a game? I was horrified, was I really supposed to choose who died here and who survived? It was ridiculous and I went to close the page down. 
Calmly the voice began again, before you close us down, you should know that if you do not choose one of the three shown here, your family will be next. I was startled by his declaration, but figured that he was just trying to scare me, he was doing a really good job, truthfully, Anna. He said, my heart skipped a beat, he said my name, now I was officially terrified, I just wanted this to stop. Anna, dear sweet Anna, I know it's a difficult choice, but it must be made, please, if you will, direct the night watchman to their chore, the original videos came back up, and I knew that meant it was time for me to pick someone to die. Maybe it is just a horrible joke that some hacker and his friends like to play on unsuspecting deep web surfers, I stated out loud, it was more to make me feel better than anything, even though my heart was still pounding. I looked at the people again, there was a family there, children, I couldn't choose them, then there was the expecting couple, I couldn't do this, it was too much, choose the normally calm voice barked at me, choose now. I jumped and looked at the last one, it was the lonely woman with a dog for a companion, she had the least to lose, she was alone without kids or a husband, it wasn't okay, but I quickly clicked her video. Very well, so shall it be, the voice was calm and smooth once again. The videos of the night watchman came back up, night watchman, a choice has been made, you may attend to your work, I watched in horror as two of the watchmen began walking toward the houses in front of them. And the third one walked away from a house, I was confused, I chose the lonely woman, but her watchman was walking away, he disappeared into the night, and the feed cut off. The other two videos grew bigger and took up the screen, what's going on? What's going on? Was all I could say. The two watchmen that it showed, each effortlessly broke into the houses, I was biting my bottom lip so hard it bled. The feeds walked along with them as they each silently roamed through the houses. One watchman walked into the set-up baby room and looked around gingerly, then made his way across the hall to the other bedroom, the other watchman walked slowly down the hall, seemingly trying to decide which room to enter, he chose the children's room, I looked over to the first one. He stood at the foot of the sleeping couple's bed, holding a huge machete, he walked to one side and began swinging wildly, there were screams so loud and frightened, that I felt like I might pass out or throw up. I looked over to the other video, reluctantly, the watchman stood in the children's room, right in the center of the pink bunk bed, he also brandished a machete, I screamed as he raised it up and reached over and pulled the computer plug out of the wall, I was terrified, traumatized. What had I just witnessed? What had I just done? My mouth felt dry, my head was spinning out of control, my heart felt like it might burst from my chest. After several hours, I decided to check my computer and hope that the nightmare I had witnessed was gone. There was nothing. Days later I was checking my email when I stopped and recoiled in horror. There was an email from the night watchman. I finally opened it. I really don't know why. Maybe I was hoping they would tell me I had been punked or something, instead it was just a few large words on an otherwise white background, Jenna thanks you for excluding her from a night watchman fate, we thank you for your choices too, we truly enjoyed our encounter with you. Come play again anytime. Attached was a picture of the lonely woman walking her dog in the park, still looking down at her phone. I will never, ever access the deep web again. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button to support my work. And as always enjoy the fear my dear.